There are many voices that need to be amplified in the media, and Marilyn Camacho, founder and CEO of Caribeña Creatives, is working to do just that. Uh, Marilyn, nice to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me. This is a really interesting organization that you've created. Tell me why you created it. What was the impetus to get you going? Um, well, I probably would start off with, you know, I'm from Chicago, originally originally born and raised. And um, being out there, you know, Chicago's a melting pot. There's everything there, you know. Oh, it's yeah. kind of similar to New York, maybe like a smaller New York. And moving out to L.A., I've been here now about six years. And... I just haven't been able to feel like I've had a sense of where my tribe is here when it comes to uh, Caribbeans just in general. You know, in Chicago, you're, you, everybody's around everybody. You know, the Cubans, the Puerto Ricans, the Mexicans, the Colombians, et cetera, et cetera. And here, I think it's also just demographically, just the way that the city is laid out, you know, it just makes it kind of difficult to connect. And so uh, being here for a while, I really felt that there was a need, you know, uh, just encountering a lot of the other Caribbean women that I met that are in the industry, uh, that are in the industry and that are working, actresses, directors, producers. And I've always asked around, I'm like, is there, is there a group? Is there, a, uh, you know, is there, <laughs> is there an organization, you know, where we can all kind of get together, work together um, and being around and just be around the sisters, you know, sisterhood. And there, there hasn't been, there's been nothing. So um, I felt that there is a big void right now. We need our space and we are entitled to that space. We deserve that space so that we can collaborate, we can work together, we can know who's working on what um, and be able to amplify that. So that's, that's, that's really where it came from. And Chicago and Caribeña don't necessarily go together because I don't know why anybody would ever leave the Caribbean, but uh, <laughs> certainly your family did and a lot of families have. Yeah. Uh, why Caribeña? Tell me about why that's important. Well, I'm a Puerto Rican woman, uh, and I'm proud of that. My parents were both born in Puerto Rico. Um, of course, they moved to Chicago, and we've lived the rest of our lives there. Uh, but I, I put Caribeña because I think that it's very specific, it's particular, and that is the demographic that I am trying to reach and let them know that you have a home here with us. If you're in the industry that you're, and you're trying to get things done, you're trying to work with women that are amongst your tribe, um, I feel like we have a space for that. And that was, that's really where, where this is coming from. It's, it's about having that tribe. Well, that's fantastic. Now, now you've created something called the Shift Summit and Music Festival, which is interesting because it kind of, pushes this a little forward the message that you just to told me about moves this the ball way forward tell me about it so the shift um actually i didn't create that we were actually invited uh the oh. shift the shift no, no i didn't create that i wish <laughs> <laughs> uh, that network has been around for a while yes the shift network um is you know they they have this huge festival it's called the shift summit and music festival where they invite like change makers really innovative thinkers uh to come over four days with music to have to, they have panels discussions um and it's all about the enlightenment right of of humanity and of the world and so uh we were asked uh they had this year they're setting up 12 different stages and one of the stages is the media stage uh media panel so they mm -hmm. asked us to be the official panelists for the media stage. So it was a great honor for me to bring, you know, for me to come and also bring my executive team. And I know my friend Jasmine Espada is going to be on the panel and there's yeah. all kinds of really amazing people that are part of this, this entire event. Thank you. Yes, uh, Jasmine is an incredible woman. I mean, she's also part of the Caribeñas tribe and I'm so grateful to have her on board. Uh, we have part of the uh, panel, Charo Toledo as well. She's an amazing writer, executive producer been working in Hollywood and has done so many incredible things. Um, mm -hmm. And then we also have Lynette Cole, who is also an executive. Um, she's a producer, a writer, and she's also a development executive. And she also works with change makers too. So the four of us, we're all part of the, the tribe. So it was just really amazing for us to be able to have that platform to talk about Hollywood and the changes that we would like to see hopefully by 2030. So. Yeah, that was interesting. The 2030 mark was really interesting. So in 10 years, what is the vision? What do you hope you can see that's not being seen right now, let's say in Hollywood? Um, I think 
for us, we have this, one of our models is collaboration, not competition. And I think that just amongst the Latino community, there's always this sense of competition amongst us. And I'm like, we need to stop that, you know, just in general, <laughs> we need to start working together. So we really talked about the multicultural collaboration and how um, that can really affect change within the industry where we really truly do work together, not just not just lip service, but actually doing that work, but at the same time pro providing uh, we, we, what we propose solutions for Hollywood as far as the way that the system is set up. You know, we need to have more of us, more multicultural people at the high levels in the executive rooms, you know, at the producer level and also at the casting level. So uh, we discussed a lot of different things uh, surrounding that and, and proposed some solutions. And it was it was a really great discussion. So I'm super excited about yeah, it. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. But uh, you know, the thing that I always ask is, is it equity or inclusiveness or are they mutually exclusive or can they be together? Um, I think they can be, I think they can be together, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I think that you, you can create equity, right, by first off, you know, owning your IP, you know, having ownership over your own ideas, your own projects. Um, and then also, I think that there's, there's, there's this, there's this thought process that you can't, uh, go and reach out overseas for funding and everything has to be done in Hollywood. There has to be, you know, you have to be connected here, you know, and that's right. not true. You know, there's so many companies overseas and Spain and Europe and all these other wonderful countries that would be so happy to collaborate with people here. So I think that finding your own outlets um, and owning your IP and, and bringing your people, right, is, is how you, is how you, is how you build equity. And of course, um, the most important thing is having quality product. Well, I can't wait to see what comes out of the Shift Summit, and, and in particular, your panel. Marilyn Camacho, the founder of, and CEO of Caribeña Creative, so great to have you with us. Nice, nice so to much. chat with you, and I wish you much success in the future, and can't wait to see what happens in 2030. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Have a good one. You too.